McDonald's has been bringing smiles and high blood pressure to kids with their Happy Meals since 1979, but sometimes their toys just flat out suck. Today we take a look at 11 of the worst Happy Meal toys to ever exist. Number 11. I see a lot of other people making these toy videos saying that this is supposed to be the jellyfish from Finding Nemo. It's actually a character from Shark Tale, although it may as well be called Finding Dildo, as thousands of children looked confused upon looking into their bag and seeing this weird phallic object. He also looks like a magic mushroom who gets high on himself. Number 10. Not only did these Halloween buckets come with nothing inside them, but a special shout out to the idiot who approved of releasing these several months before October. What's the point? Number 9. This is an example of McDonald's themed toys being crap. The McDonaldland Airport series was a group of McDonald's characters in helicopters or planes. Everything was the same color, making the toys even cheaper looking, and appear to be crafted out of gum stuck underneath a table. Number 8. McDonald's gave out posters for the E.T. ripoff movie called Mac and Me in the 1980s. It may sound like a McDonald's themed parody, but this was a real movie. Not one of these posters could have been kept in mint condition as they were folded multiple times before being placed into a bag smeared in hamburger grease. Number 7. Popoids were constructible toys used to build stuff, which was hard when the Happy Meals only came with three pieces each. Some poor parents had to get McDonald's constantly so their kids could make anything useful. Hey Dum Dum, ever heard of Lego? Number 6. In case you want your kid to burn off their fast food in as little as 8 hours, make sure his dinner came with a Michael Jordan's Fitness Fun Frisbee. Try saying that three times. But mom, it's not a regular frisbee, it comes with a sticker of Michael Jordan's face. Number 5. Released to celebrate Earth Day, the Nature Watch toys were supposed to inspire kids to go outside and garden, even though that would mean they couldn't watch the TV's McDonald's commercials. Not the smartest marketing tactic. What's worse is no 5 year old is interested in gardening. Dad, can we harvest our own McNuggets? Nope. Which made everyone donate their toy to the garbage. Number 4. This collaboration between McDonald's, Star Wars, and possibly even the War Amps is extremely ugly to look at. To promote the Clone Wars, a series of toys was released featuring the heads of all the characters on top of battleships. Unsurprisingly, I bet even the biggest Star Wars fans wouldn't want these. Number 3. Remember when American Idol was popular? In 2007, kids were treated to a line of American Idol toys in their Happy Meals, including this MP3 player. Sadly, this thing only played one song, the American Idol theme, just in case anyone was tempted to sing along to music without any words. Number 2. For those parents who feel bad for letting their kids eat such unhealthy food, there's good news. McDonald's once replaced their Happy Meal toys with a series of books about nutrition, letting you read up on how all the junk is helping your kid grow to his full genetic potential. How many grams of protein are in that Coke? Probably none. Number 1, and the most disappointing, ugly, or downright stupid McDonald's Happy Meal toy is... This thing. One of the first Happy Meal toys was a plastic glove with farm animals on it. If kids didn't accidentally choke on it, they could stare at all of the cute creatures slaughtered to make their hamburger. After seeing what's in those McNuggets, yes, even the horse and dog are possible. I would not doubt that this glove contains slightly more nutritional